Hi everybody. This is Shannon. Just uh, up here at the church, getting ready for uh, tomorrow morning. It's Saturday night. I'm uh, getting ready for our worship time tomorrow, and I just thought I want, would uh, help help us get prepared a little bit for worship time tomorrow. We're singing a, a new song, new for us. Uh, the choir did it last spring, but I don't think we've done it as as a congregational song. The song is called Lamb of God. Uh, it's made popular by a group called Vertical Worship and also is on uh, Meredith Andrews' album. I encourage you to look it up on YouTube or, or Spotify or whatever you listen to and uh, check it out. It's a, it's a neat little song, and we're going to sing it tomorrow in worship time, and I wanted to talk to you about it. Uh, the chorus says this. The chorus says, The Lamb of God in my place, your blood poured out, my sin erased. It was my death you died. I am raised to life. Hallelujah, the Lamb of God. And, you know, that's that's biblical. It's correct, I think, theologically, and it rhymes, and we're going to sing it. But I, I think as we sing it, we need to remember what it's talking about. We remember what it's saying, and, and just the name of the song, Lamb of God. And when we think of that term, Lamb of God, when I think of it, there's there are three uh, three places in the Bible that I think of uh, first of all, it's that place in John. I think it's in John. Where is it? John chapter 1, uh, where John the Baptist is baptizing Jesus. And um, after, uh, when, when John sees Jesus coming towards him, he says, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And and Jesus as the Lamb of God, that's something we need to remember about that, that he is our substitution. He is our sacrifice. That's what a lamb is in, in this context, is it's a sacrifice. Jesus is the substitutionary sacrifice that pays for our sins, for yours and mine. He takes them away, not just yours and mine, but as John the Baptist says here in the Gospel of John, the sins of the world. So Jesus as the lamb is, is our substitution. And as the, the song says, in my place, lamb of God in my place, my death you died. So that's that's a big part of it. The other thing that I think of when I think of Jesus as the lamb is in is in the book of Revelation uh, where, where John records uh, the, the scene of heavenly worship where uh, the angels and the, the living creatures and the elders are gathered around the throne and numbering thousands upon thousands. And and uh, there's a loud voice. They say in a loud voice, the lamb who was slaughtered or the lamb who was slain is worthy to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And then later it says blessing and honor and glory and dominion to the one who is seated on the throne and to the Lamb forever and ever. So the second thing, Jesus as the Lamb is worthy of all of that. He's worthy of our worship. He's worthy of us giving Him glory and honor. He is due that. Not only is He worthy, but He is due power and riches and wisdom and strength, glory and honor and blessing. And so we want to bless the Lamb of God as we sing to Him and for Him tomorrow. And then... The last thing is, is where is it in Revelation? Revelation chapter 12 talks about the Lamb who conquers. Uh, chapter 12, verse 11 says, They conquered him. They're talk, him talking about the dragon representative, I believe, of Satan. They conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, for they did not love their lives in the face of death. That's talking about the saints uh, who conquer uh, by the blood of the Lamb. That's that's you and I. We conquer through the blood of Jesus. He is our Savior, our substitutionary atonement. He is a, our conqueror, and through the blood of the Lamb, we become conquerors. So that's the third thing that I think about when I think of Jesus as the Lamb. So He takes away our sins through His substitution on our behalf. He also is worthy of our worship. And through him, we are, as Paul said, we are more than conquerors. And so, wow, when we sing this tomorrow, I want you guys to remember all of that, what it means uh, in the context of Jesus 
as this picture, Jesus as the Lamb of God. Give that song a listen, pray about it, and let's get ready to worship tomorrow morning.